my own family. Good evening. You are listening to LPJ. Speaker Radio with Mr. and Mrs. Sweet Thing. How and are you? Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. And how are you? I'm doing great. Praise the Lord. We hope that our listeners are doing great. And we want to wish them a happy Sabbath. Yeah, happy, happy Sabbath. It's a lovely day. The weekend is here. And God has seen us all through this week. It's been a rough week, I know. I know you've been to work, and it's been rough for somebody. I know we had a boss this week that just probably haven't been too nice. But God has given you the love for that boss. That's right. Has seen you through this week, and we have to thank him for that because I tell you, I, I've been retired for seven years, but I know what a boss, and I know how they can be. Yes, so, yes, yes. I'm still working, so I know how they can be. Yeah, they can be <laughs> something else. thing we can do is pray for them and uh, ask the Lord to keep us so that we won't say or do anything that is not pleasing in his sight. Well, if you do, Lord, no, he said, do not <laughs> provoke your brother without, uh, you be mad with your brother without a cause because he know that we can provoke each other sometimes. And uh, he understands that, you know, you you do. You just have to ask that person to forgive you and ask them, beg them for forgiveness and go on. But, you know, we have some bosses, I know, I tell you. But we know that this week has been rough and God has watched over you and kept you. So we want to thank him. And tonight the title of the show is Let's Glorify His Name. So we know we can we need to glorify his name because what he have already done for us. So we're going to give you again another one of God's promises starting in Psalms chapter 37 verse 1 through 4. Don't fret because of evil doers. Neither be envious against those who work unrighteousness, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered like the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Also, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. He will give them to you. Your desires of your heart must line up with his. That's right. That's why yeah. he tells you to do good. Do good. Do good. And he tell you, it, we got to remember, he tell you to delight yourself in him. That's and right. he will give you the desires of your heart. When you... Seek first the kingdom. Because if you delight yourself in the Lord, the Lord is kindness, goodness, righteousness, you know, humbleness. He, 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 he's all those good things, see. Yes. So he'll give you the desire of your heart, and if your heart is right, then, you know, it'll be good things, you know. So we, he, he knows right off the bat that your heart is in, you're headed in the right direction. Exactly. You know, yeah, so he's not going to give you or desire your heart. You talking about hurting somebody, or, or, or breaking in somebody's house, you know, doing some harm now, because you know, we don't want you to get the wrong idea that he'll give you desire your heart if it's evil. Right. Because people think, you know, I can think even God's supposed to give me the desire of my heart. And you thinking about going next door robbing your neighbor? Uh, uh-uh. no, I, I don't think so. Exactly. Mm-mm. I don't think so. But if your heart is thinking of righteousness, goodness, good things, kindness, love. Yeah, those are things of God, and uh, He will He will give you those things. Yes, He will. And 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 praying for your neighbor, and hoping for good things to happen to your neighbor and things like that. Yeah, yeah, He'll give you those things. You heard it right here on LPJ. And that's love, love peace, peace, and, and joy. joy.
in a world full of destruction in a world where men don't believe all the Christians are striving trying to make it and the devil is always busy trying to destroy and to deceive don't you know
When your burden is heavy And you can't carry on When others have tried But they couldn't do the job from 